Let's reveal who it is. Oh! oh! Dude! What up, Rep Pack? It's your boy here, King Rep Charm. Back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys are, you know the drill Pokemon catch flip. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because your boy is here. And right now, I have a box right here. You will see this box. And inside of here is more of the Pokemon Terrarium. If you don't know what Pokemon Terrarium, here's what's on screen. It's basically a Pokeball that is the entire environment encapsulated inside of a clear case that you get to see what the inside of a Pokeball would look like for that Pokemon. I have been trying to collect them all for years. Maybe like a month or two. For over a couple of months, okay? I've been trying to complete all of them. And today we are going to be trying to continue with that. I've still not got Charizard once. I'm hoping in this box maybe there could be one. But you will notice a slightly bigger box below this one. It's slightly. Yeah, it's very. It's the difference between a man dingo and what's a regular man. <laughs> We're gonna cut into this one. Probably at the end of the video, as you will see on the top, it says China Post. You know how, like, we have USPS, they just have CP. Oh. To China Post. <laughs> right now, I am dealing with a lot of drama because in China, in Wuhan in particular, they have, what is it called? The virus lime in it? The coronavirus. Coronavirus. Ooh. <laughs> coronavirus. Scary. But inside this box, I didn't think this was ever going to show up because ha like tons of packages have gotten canceled for me coming from China. This one, I have no clue what it is because all the packages just say shit. I know there is a life-size Pokemon in here. Life-size? Apparently. I mean, it can't. Obviously, there's not a Gyarados in here. Obviously, there's not an Onix in here. What size life-size Pokemon can fit in this box? Tiger. Diglett. <laughs> all right, gonna pop this open. Probably at the end of the video, we're gonna bust into these Terrariums. We're even gonna open up Little Hidden Fates. It's gonna be a hell a lot of Pokemon fun. Let's get into it. All right, so come on over here. We're gonna go ahead and cut right into this rep pack, and we are going to try to complete all 151 terrariums. I do not have all. Honestly, last time getting them all out took like an hour to set them all up. So I am not gonna set them up again until there's a big update. Okay, so I popped it open. The way we do this is that they're all a mystery. I don't know which ones are in here. The lady I ordered from has all of them, and just sent you the ones that I haven't ordered already. So thank you for being a part of this. So here goes my guess. What's your guess going to be? I know mine. Rayquaza. Zapdos. No, that's not a thing anymore. We got, <laughs> we got that already. I'm saying, if you're Rayquaza, you're guess. I'm gonna guess. Wrong. No, wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna guess Kangaskhan and Child. <laughs> All right, let's pop it out and see what it actually is. All right, let's pop it out and see what Pokemon it is then. Okay, it is very black. I'm assuming you are wrong. <laughs> it's not green. It's shiny Rayquaza. <laughs> Shining Rayquaza in a ball. Here we go. It is. Oh, oh it's Trico! I called it. <laughs> you did not get that. I was just a Trico, and then it's, it was Trico. After like 30 minutes of me fluffling <laughs> with this bag. All right, so right here, we have Trico. Oh my God. It's not just Trico. He's chilling. <laughs> All right, I have no clue what he could be doing with his arms behind his back. So let's go ahead and set this ball up. All right, so here we go. We got the Trico. I told you he was going to be leaning up against the tree. You know where they got his name from? The same guy who, you know, Funko. Funko. Tree. Co. Oh. <laughs> that is sick. Let's go ahead and capture Trico. And boom, we now have a Trico in the PC, the ADHD's World PC. Trico has been captured. Now, what is the next one? We know there is tree that is Ko. Could there be mud that is Kip? Drow that is Z. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you say drowsy? No, I really don't want to see that. <laughs> I'm Oddish. Oddish. Okay, I'm gonna. He's going to Oddish. I'm going with Kip Mud. Mud Kip. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got here. Green tea gum. Okay, I don't need that. More dirt on the bottom. The reveal. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh, it's Marie and Pikachu! Oh my god! That is actually like the cutest thing ever. I'm pretty sure Marie. Who cares about purple mattress? Who cares about sit and sleep? When <laughs> Casper. You, yeah, Casper mattress when you got Marie. <laughs> Right now on the Pokemon Center website, you can get a $500 life-size Mareep. For how much? $500. <laughs> I was thinking, man, this fence is kind of wobbly, but that is so sick. They add so much detail in the Pokemon Terrariums. You can actually put the fence into the dirt. You ever wanted the white picket fence American dream? Well, now you can, and it's only six bucks. Most people, it's 600000 California, that's only half. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not even. In California, to have the American dream, you need to be, well, this man right here, greater of Minecraft. <laughs> There we go, we got Marie, the electric static cling sheep with Pikachu on top of him. He is probably charging up perfectly on that Marie. Now let's go ahead and add the Pokeball and capture a double banger with Pikachu and Marie. All right, there's two on the board right there. Let's see what the next one is. This one is wrapped up. So what do you guys, what's your guess on this one? Arcanine. I am going to guess this is, I'm gonna guess fire type two. I'm gonna say Typhlosion. So let's see what we got here. Let's pop them on out. This looks, what is that? Another Marie in there? Wait a minute, no. Wait a 
wait, I got it right almost. Hey! Oh. <laughs> hey, dude! That looks so sick! The fire on his back, dude? There is a squirrel in there. I am going to lose it! If there's a Bulbasaur, I will lose it. We already got Bulbasaur. Oh, we did. I have no clue who that is. All right, so right here now we have the Cyntaquil. And as part of our sit off camera, you really can bring a Cyntaquil to water. You can't make him drink. You just scroll. <laughs> Right here we have the Cyntaquil and he looks absolutely adorable. This one is going to, I mean, they're all gonna be displayed one day, but until they're all complete, I gotta have this one somewhere on the side. This one is epic. All right, so next what we're gonna be doing is there is three right there. I'm gonna open up this Hidden Fates box. If you guys don't know, I am still trying to complete the Hidden Fates binder, so this is just an excuse for me to try and get closer. I'm gonna open all of these rapid fire packs. We're gonna get back into the terrarium. All right, it's Caterpie, Paris, Ekin, Psyduck, Star, you, oh! Hey, a shining ho oh, oh. I will take it. So we got one banger already. I don't need that for the set. Still need three more cards, but let's see what else we can get. All right, last attempt at getting any closer to the set. We got Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Paris, Psyduck, Eevee. Okay, awesome. I will take it. A shining Eevee and a shining ho oh, oh. For a little bonus content, I will take it. Let's get back into the terrarium. I hope that we can pull a Charizard one. All right, you see who is next. I am going to guess this time it is. Rhydon. Rhydon. I'm going to say butt cheek head. Magmar. Yeah. Clap right. those mag cheeks. Slap, slap, <laughs> slap in the forehead. <laughs> Let's see what it is though. Who could it be? Who could it be? It comes. Venusaur. Oh, it comes the leaf. That could be. Let's see. It is Charmander. Oh wait, there is a little Charmander. It's Charmander. Wait, how is this gonna work? He's so small. He is so small, and that leaf is so big. <laughs> All right, so right there we got Charmander. He is looking amazing. He's protecting his tail from the fire. That is absolutely awesome. It's like a Charmander in like a rainstorm trying to protect his tail. All right, there's a box within that box. We're gonna pop this open. Not look at any of those designs on the front. Which one are you guessing now? I'm gonna guess Magic Carp at this point. Oh, because you saw a blue box, you assume water type? I did. Now I'm gonna assume Psyduck. <laughs> All right, Magic Carp and Psyduck, we both saw that blue box. Let's reveal who it is. Oh! oh! Dude! Right there, we finally got him! The Charizard Man! We were both wrong. What the hell? Why, do, this, why is the box blue? All right, let's pop it open. Right there, obviously, you got the man himself, Charizard. Right there, and oh my god. Gosh, he is flying away from the Cinnabar Volcano. All right, guys, so check out the Charizard with the fire coming out of his mouth. That is epic. That has got to be my favorite one so far now. I mean, I know it's Charizard, generic answer, but God, he is freaking awesome. All right, next one coming out. Is it a blue box again? So, so that means nothing. I'm going to say Magikarp. Blastoise. Let's do the reveal. Okay, it's sand. It could be Blastoise. Right on. Let's pop them out. We have the sand and the sand true and I'm glad they put those two together. They don't, <laughs> they don't belong in their own ones. <laughs> I would think if Cubone was on his own, they should just have a carcass of his mom behind them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Like Parker said, I think sand true and oh look, look Alolan Zegutor. <laughs> <laughs> they had to go together because neither of them got enough clout to hold their own ball. <laughs> All right, I am not gonna lie, Rep Pack. Sand true and Cubone were a little underwhelming, but the fact that sand true comes out of the sand? That is sick. You got the full bodied sand shrew underneath that sand, interacting with the Cubone. This is one of my favorite ones. Really? It honestly is one of my favorite ones. You got two iconic first gen Pokemon interacting with each other in their environment. I like that one. He's just chilling on the beach, you know, just crying about his mom and sand shrew popped up and he's like, hey, why are you so sad? My mom died. It's okay. You can come down here. I don't have moms down here in the sand. Yeah, but I want my mom though. Come on, just come on down here. I mean, we come down here, you don't want moms in the sand. Why do you keep trying to get me to come down here. All right, well, just, you know, you can't really go anywhere else. We're kind of in this Pokeball together. All right, so there we go. We got Sandshrew and Cubone. I like to imagine that's how they interact with each other. Sandshrew seems like he just really wants you to go inside. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Your guess, what is it? I'm gonna guess Rishram. I'm gonna guess Arcanine. That's wrong. Were you think these Rishram's wrong? It probably is, but a man can dream. Let's see what we got here. Who is it? It is. Damn. Oh my god. <laughs> that was the furthest thing from Rishram. <laughs> it could have been. But the closest thing to Arcanine it could have been. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got the duck with a leak. I'm gonna just set this one up because why not? All right, guys. I am not gonna lie. At the start, I was laughing at this little duck, but I've been getting more appreciation for a lot of these more random Pokemon like this. And I gotta say, oh, 
like it a lot more now, knowing that he's slashing through all the bamboo. <laughs> all right, so that's far-fetched right there. I thought the idea of him having one was far-fetched, but so far, he's gaining in popularity ever so quick. Ever since Surfetch came out, Farfetch is the guy. All right, so I said I was opening it at the end, and I lied. I'm opening it now. So, right here, inside of this, I don't know what Pokemon it is. I just know that it's a real-life sized one, and it's from Wish. So let's check out the quality on this thing and see how this thing works. Based off its size, I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's gotta be either a Pikachu or a Charmander. I'm gonna go Wailord or Groudon. <laughs> but I have always, my whole life, wanted like a real life size Pikachu just standing there, a vinyl figure. When I saw this one on Wish, I had to order it. And like I said, I do not know if it's if it's a Pikachu or a Charmander. But let's pop it open and let's see. And this again was a little under a hundred bucks on Wish. The real original version, I think, is like five hundred dollars. So let's see the quality on this Charmander slash Pikachu. I wish I knew who it was, but I don't. So three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> I guess it's, I guess it's Pikachu. Pikachu. It has to be. Just Charmander in there, then, I'm, then that's to be really weird. But let's pull it out, dude. This box is sick. God, there's a lot of foam. Dude, thumbnail box. <laughs> yeah, for real. Dude, look at the lightning bolts on the side. Look at the Japanese. Look at that Japanese. And look at the, the tail. And also a Pokeball with Chinese in it. Huh. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pop this thing open. I have no clue what it will look like. It could look terrible. We still have not gotten to that fast test yet. Oh my god, dude. Look in there. You can't see it, but it comes with a hat. Isn't that like Ash's hat? Not a good version of it's it. It's like kind of like Ash's hat. It's like a mixture of all the gens. All right, let's give it a hat. Sinnoh secrets. <laughs> Fourth gen secrets. Yeah. All right, dude, there's his tail. Oh, it comes <laughs> so I'm guessing he's in pieces. All right, so we got his tail. And based off of the tail look, it's not that bad. Lightning bolt. But let's the next part. Okay, he is coming out completely in pieces. What is this? That is probably his uh, ear. This is everything. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Like, the ears don't look bad. They don't feel bad either. It doesn't feel like cheap material. And it even got magnets to connect them, so like you can completely break it down. I'm not I'm not completely thrown off yet. Dude! Look at that! Oh, wow. He is actually life-size! Holy crap! Those are interchangeable <laughs> ears. Oh! Yes. Those are so if you can put a hat on! Oh. I just realized so he has his ears swooped back, so you can put a hat on him. Oh, that's so freaking... <laughs> Alright, let's pop him open. Dude, that, that looks... looks Amazing. That looks so good. He looks bald. <laughs> he, looks, he looks like one of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu without ears is creeping me out, but that looks remarkable. I can't believe that's from Wish. I'm not gonna lie. I swear to you guys, this came from Wish. Let's put him on this piece. I'm gonna put everything on. I am so stoked about this rep pack because the real version of this would be very, very expensive. And this honestly looks, for the first time, undistinguishable. <laughs> there we go. That does not look bad. Wow. I, I'm like in shock. <laughs> this thing looks really good. And it's still a tell. All right, let's go ahead and shove that down in him. This is genuinely a giant piece. Pikachu. That looks incredible! Wow! Okay guys, so you've seen the real life Pikachu. There should be a full size Charmander and some other Pokemon that I am not going to tell you because I found them and I don't want anybody else to take them. Okay, so they will appear at some point. Okay, so now we have the headpiece on, the actual hat. That is sick! I know, dude. It's so, <laughs> it's so hype. Oh my gosh! Okay, so I am so glad to have this in the ADHD's World Collection. I had no clue it was going to look this good. Parker, before we filmed this, didn't I seem to have hesitations about this? Oh, yes. I didn't know what this was, but you said it was from Wish. So I'm like, oh. Yeah, Wish life-size Pokemon? Not happening. But apparently it is. Right here, I will probably put this, like, next to my biggest collection. Like, my biggest stuff. This is, like, a perfect encapsulator of a Pokemon fan. Right there. I feel like that's, like, actually how big he would be, you know, in real life. Yeah, this is accurately sized, too. And I will tell you one thing. I think that's definitely cooler than those 10-inch pops that are coming out. Oh, yeah. Like, the 10-inch oh. Yeah. Or Charmander. They're sick, but this is Pikachu. You know, a few of those are cash grabs, and this one is like not. Yeah, <laughs> so there's two more Terraniums left. We're gonna rapid fire through both of those at the same time, but there we go. Real life, life size Pikachu. All right, guys, there's two left. We've seen the life size Pikachu ripping straight into it. I'm doing my ultimate guess. I am guessing Magikarp and also Ho Oh. I'm gonna go Lugia and Tyranitar. <laughs> Lugia, Tyranitar. I'm glad we both picked those Johto legendaries. Let's see what we got here. Oh, oh! Oh, it's Articuno! Finally! Okay, so now I have an Articuno to go with the Zapdos and the Moltres. We got that one out. Let's see what it comes with first. Oh my 
my god. It comes with ice. Yeah, I know, dude. I don't want to melt it. Oh my god. <laughs> you can't melt his ice. He's red. Oh my god. He's so goddamn cold. <laughs> There's like this shattered blue ice everywhere. We are going to put Articuno in there. Let's see who the last Pokemon is, though. Who could it be? Lolan Raichu. It's brown Raichu. <laughs> All right, it's a Lolan Raichu, but oh, wait. No way. He's surfing. He's going to be surfing the waves. Okay, so we're going to set both these up, show those off. I had to see that Articuno. Looks. All right, so right there we got Articuno. He works a little better with the ball closed. So right oh there we God. that is so sick. That has got to be my absolute favorite of the birds for sure. I'm still saying Charizard is my favorite overall. There is the Articuno, and then here is the Alolan Raichu right there. But I have to say, man, everything was epic today and beyond what I expected, especially the Pikachu. But you guys know the drill. Scan it. <laughs> Enjoy this video though. If you guys did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you are new here. I mean, right here, I got a baby Pikachu. He's just so sad. In the arms of an angel. And all he wants is for you to subscribe. So make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a new video by Pikachu. All right? Don't, don't, don't worry about me. Subscribe for him. All right, thanks. But right here on your screen will be this video, which is the last episode of the Pokemon Terraniums. And you're going to see where this whole journey started along with two awesome wish statues that were themed after the video games, it actually came to life and was epic. I'll see you guys over there. And as always, Rep Pack, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. Bloop.